Info Time Track Employee Setup. The combination of selections entered on the employee record defines all aspects of how an employee's hours will flow through Time Track. To open the employee's form, select the employee's icon from the administrator homepage. The employee form is comprised of three tabs the general tab, where we specify all of the employee's configuration information, the contact information tab, where the primary function is to indicate the hire date and where applicable the employee's termination date, and the absences tab, where we specify the absence tracking group and effective dates. When creating a new employee, the key fields are the employee number, the name, the facility, the department, the work group, the employee type, the shift, and the work set enabled flag. These identify the rules set up in time track for the employee to follow. The facility and department identify where the employee works. The work group identifies who the employee's supervisor is. The employee type indicates the attendance rules which the employee has to adhere to. The shift indicates the attendance hours the employee is supposed to work. And the work set enabled flag identifies whether the employee is able to work more than one concurrent job. In the kiosk access section, select a username to associate the employee record with the user profile if appropriate. If no user is associated with an employee, then the employee needs to access TimeTrack via a generic user login. Set attendance to yes to enable the employee to clock in and clock out. Set labor to yes to enable the employee to enter labor transactions. And set absence requests to yes to enable the employee to submit absence requests. The only required field on the contact information tab is the hire date. If the employee is no longer working, the termination date should also be entered. The absences tab displays the configuration information pertinent to the tracking of the employee's absence hours.